Olá pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? Eu espero que sim. Aqui quem fala é o Jorge. Neste vídeo você irá assistir GTA Vice City completo. Só lembrando que para este vídeo todo ele foi jogado, gravado e editado completamente por mim. Eu espero que vocês gostem. Tommy Vicetti? <risos> Shit! Then they never let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? Treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town. Okay. We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Time to change it. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vicetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give him a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Hey, hey, guys, it's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, 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 great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the... Okay, that's them in the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. <sighs> I know, I know, you're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee were dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you. 
neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you have this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of uh, agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary relations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Nope. Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong? Exactly. Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, if you know what <laughs> Important. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand kid, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Steve all Scott. All the passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And <laughs> you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party is ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, well, the another amigo. 
how do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz is Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get out of here. Sure. Actually, take me to the pole position. for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. You pop up from. I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why? I'm looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. <laughs> Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. That's right, go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Hit me, then! Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. 
Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Yeah, take this. Follow me. This way! Don't push me! One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. A local gun shops a couple of blocks away. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. for a while. He left me in charge. Uh, I I totally bumped into Screw me. you, man. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds.
I can't believe this is happening. Giorgio sends his regards. No suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm wondering to myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Avery goes without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. I know how to fight. The management will discuss any grievances in the appropriate manner. You gotta shut up now. Please disperse. Go back to your home. You never learn. Sticks out, boys. Let's crack some kind of skulls.
Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a Let's weight before. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. As useful as a violet dung. Pass me. Who is this guy? Boys, deal with it. Get him! To that psycho! This car is extremely valuable, idiot. Father, he hit me. I hope you have insurance, moron. Oh, you're gonna wish you'd never been born. Are you a country member? Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington.
Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as plan, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now, I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Move your ass. It's this nice lady's bill. I'm seeing shit. Cross kill demolish. You want
want me to drill you? Mr. Versetti. Colonel, thank you for coming. Please see. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now he's in confidence, reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. Well, this kindness will reward you. And then. We will find your money together. It will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. Shut that big well, mouth of yours! Uh, he's got a blade! Stop running, you fat slime ball! People everywhere are scared bastard. of me! Oh, sweet Jesus! I've wasted my life and my looks! Stand still and I'll make it quick! You got to deal with it. I'll pay you double, Dobby. Double! But you're squealing. No one cares, Pat, so.
Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Grab your snout. No, 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 no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet the courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. of the year. What? Ah, come on? And worse. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. I feel so... Shoot him! You've got to do better, Mr. Snell. There you go. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. All the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Pepito, ¿qué quiere? 
No man, there's not a problem. Hey me. Shit! Don't worry, I got you covered. Uh, I think they get to take on uh, Ricardo Diaz. Diaz's men are getting cut down. I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. <laughs> Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on set, he said you're the real deal, my friend. No money, Will you no not come money, see me? Money. I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Chop your head off! Uh, who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse! You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for money. Shut up! Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. Slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. Yo, we got shops around here.
What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you, too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? You name Lance Vance? Enough of that in school! Lance Vance, poor bastard! Where the hell are we headed anyway? Prawn Island! You ever fire one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way though! Okay, we're almost there! We'll make a couple of passes! So take out as many guns as you can! Then I'll set you down! And you're on your way. Central Prone Island. 
That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh?
Jack! Plastic crap! You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh! Oh! Screw you! It is my favorite Alburo movie. It died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! So, Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal, so why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real friends. Gunman on that jetty! Shooting, my Perfect. friend. You're a real proper grade A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. something what do you want nothing just to say you know look Tommy we can do this thing you and me no problem you know what I mean we're going to have to do it cuz otherwise we're going to be dead Lance we're in too far now but thanks for the call I'll speak to you later
Diaz was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me, and once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Get some donuts, soldier! Sir, yes, sir! Convoy, halt! Civilian, move Ow. away from the tank! Civilian attack, stop it! Defensive positions! I'm El China. It's Paul. I might have a little result for you, but I need to speak to you in person. I'm enjoying a little R&R &R at the Club Malibu. I reckon you're going to owe me a favour or two out of this, Sunshine. I'll see you later. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a gang lord died. You disguise yourself and head on down and crash the funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Saint Leo. 
Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big cojones. Wanna work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. All right, Mush. I'm gonna save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lugs. Word is you might try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! Oh, 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 There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure, I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Get patched up and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs>
Debris, jump ahead! Thomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. This place is going to be crawling with assholes. Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat this, you murdering bastard! Help me, dude.
You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. for protection. I run this town now. Me. Get out my set, son. I'll do what I can to get cash, bro. My livelihood destroyed. Persetti, remember the name. Stepped on my sign. Tommy, son, have I got a surprise for you? you I'm down at the recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. Howdy, son. 
Just thought I'd ring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is to keep your eyes open, and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. Remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy. Because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. She's always giving me a hard time. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. What should I do about her? Get in the car, useless. She needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DVP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This is so frustrating. Get off the road, old man. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? 
It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so... I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! You ain't going nowhere. 
It's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a spare slice, you know? Hey, Tommy, man, look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life, treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken! Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy? I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, son. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. Don't push me! Ah. You're messing with the beast, prick! One to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Oh. Crossing piece of shit! Your history, Tommy! History!
is a last dance for Lance Vance. It's only money. You hear this now? You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys! You're He's doing it, pal! Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful?